Okay, this is just a short video to illustrate the walk down to the dam from the roadway. Just had to clear some spider webs blocking my path. Down in this valley below where I am now is where the stream and the dam that I put in to collect water and be used by my ram pump. This is a little bit of a switchback path that gets me down off the roadway to the gully and the dam. This marker represents the corner of southwest corner of the property. This is one of the springs that we have. It flows intermittently. That is an intrusive set of thorns there that we will dispose of as we go. It's a constant battle to keep up with these things. That clear to the side. This part gets a bit tricky because when that spring is flowing, I get a lot of water flowing down through here and the soil is very, very wet and can be very slippery. Here's an example of the slippery part. I generally try to remember to carry a walking stick or a shovel with me whenever I come down here just to help navigate through these tricky parts. Here we are down in the valley where we have the stream, the small walking bridge, and the dam that is heavily silted in. And I'm going to have to work on that. Water's coming over the top, and the drain at the bottom, even though it's open, is barely trickling. From here, I have a switchback walkway that will help me get up the hill to the top. Working my way up the hill from the other side of the bridge, I come to a point where I've got a temporary walkway going this way. But eventually, I'd like to straighten it out and put a bridge across this gully. But that's a project that it will be delayed until I've got lots of time to work on something like a bridge. There is usually a lot of erosion taking place in this gully particularly after good rainstorms. Here's an example where the water has washed away the stone and may be undermining my path soon. But looking on the positive side, it does make the job of finding rocks for building things out of a lot easier. On this side of the gully, there's a path that parallels the same. And after making a turn, we'll pass through the tunnel structure 
that I'm trying to grow here out of these trees. This is the passage through the tunnel. And at this point, I can then make my entrance onto the ridge where I have apple trees, apple trees, the garden boxes, an old apple tree. It looks like it's developing some good apples up there. And then we have the lower part of the ridge where I put in the Rose of Sharon last week. And just from where I'm standing, I'm having trouble making any of those out. But my main objective for this trip today was to come up and check the status of what was going on with the seeds, particularly the leeks. And they, they seem like they still have a little bit more time to go. Well, maybe that one. That one I'll have to investigate a little bit closer. Might be able to grab that seed head, take it home, dry it out, harvest it. The terraced boxes up the hill, which were a lot of work, but in the end, it was a lot of fun as well. So that terminates this video for today. Thank you.